Hello everybody, it's me Sam here in Tower Group Gaming and today we'll be showing you the My Home plugin for Bucket. So Dan, what does this plugin do? Well, My Home is a simple to use but highly flexible home teleportation plugin. It allows server owners to control many aspects of when their users can teleport to their home. Uh, this can be by requiring them requiring them. This can be by requiring them to wait for a period either as a teleporter warms up or they have to wait for a period between the uses of the home function. Right, okay. So I'm going to go over the basic commands. So first of all, the first command we want to do is home set. So home set. And this will set uh, to where your home is. So I'll place it on top of this uh, gold block. If I then do home at any time, it will teleport me back to this uh, block here. Also, if I have a compass, let's just find a compass. What I can do, I can type in home point and the compass will point in the direction of my home. So they can see now, it is, uh, as I go around, the compass is changing to my home location. You also do home help, and this will just show you the, the command which we'll be going over. And lastly, home delete will delete your home. So uh, when I do home, it will not work. Right, so Dan, would you like to go over the social commands? I shall indeed. So the first command you have is forward slash home and then the name. So for this uh, example, it'll be forward slash SamQ, and you get teleported to that home. So have you got a home? I haven't, no. I'm so getting... would you like to set one up so I can teleport? I'll so set one on over here. Go on. So I'll type in home x current. Set one up. Yep, there you go. And then I can teleport to your home as well. Okay. Okay. So next one we're going to be using is four slash home invite and then the pair. So if I invite Sam here, so I've I have invited you to my home. So then I can use home x torrent to walk to it. I can also do home list, and this will show uh, the current list of all the homes I've been invited to. And I can also do home i list, which is a, a similar thing. But uh, if I invite Dan, for instance, so I do it home invite next time. Then I do home i list. Uh, home i list. I type in right. You can see there that I've invited X torrent, and then Indeed. I can teleport to his home by doing home X torrent just as before. But how do I make it so that I don't want people to teleport to my home? Well. So, first of all, we can retract the invite by typing forward slash home, uninvite, and then a the name. So, if you didn't want me to uh, receive an invitation or you want to pull the invitation back, you type uninvite and the next torrent. But to answer your question, you can either make your home public or private. So, for example, you can type forward slash home, public, which will make uh, the home you've created public, or home private, which will make it just so you can use it yourself. So, now you can only teleport to my home via invites. Indeed. Right, so that's good. Right, so lastly now I'm just going to go over the admin commands. The first admin command is home list all. And this will list all the uh, homes, you can see there, xtorrent and sapio. You can also do home clear and then the player name, so xtorrent. And this will remove the home of a, a house, so xtorrent can no longer teleport home. I haven't got a home. Oh. And that's it. Uh, there's also a conversion thing, but we're not going to go over that. And lastly, home reload just simply reloads the config, so if you change the config and whatnot. So just to finalize uh, things to go over, um, this can hook in with, uh, hook in with uh, register, so it, you can charge people to teleport home on setup homes and stuff. And also you can do per user and per group settings as well, all which are in the config which I'll go over in a bit. But that concludes the in-game tutorial, so thanks for watching. This has been me, Sam here at Group Gaming, signing out. See you later, guys. Hello, everybody. It's me, Sam here, and I'm just going to go over quickly the installation and configuration for the My Home plugin for Bucket. So a link will, of course, be in the description. You're going to want to hit download. Download, and you should get a jar file. Just simply drag and drop this into your plugin directory. And uh, it's still good. Now let's start the server up. 
we should hopefully see my home enabling my home a version uh, and then creating folder lib now what this plugin will do is will have its own libraries which will download uh, uh, SQL and uh, stuff like that nothing to really worry about you can just uh, have a look at them there it just downloads them straight to there so that's how that works and it should work and there we are it's created the, the database and how many homes loaded so that's all worked fine let's take a look at the config now so plugins right so you should get two files config.yml and homes.db homes.db you don't have to edit this is just where all the data is stored all the locations of each home and stuff let's take a look at config.yml okay so the first section is settings so as you saw in game the compass pointed to the home you can set this to true or false uh, you can allow set home this is the slash set home command uh, so if you want to use a slash home set or set home you can change that there respawn to home so when a player dies they will get spawned to their home uh, beds can set the home uh, you, when you set this to zero it's disabled if it's to one then using a bed will use the set home command and then if you have it to two the set home command is disabled and can only use beds as a home so that's how that works there uh, beds during J this just allows you to set home during the day so you just right click a bed you don't have to sleep in them uh, like that so that could be useful in a, like things like Skylands and stuff where you can't sleep because there's no night so that's that uh, locale you just can change the language of course and whether or not you want to use uh, the uh, colors and stuff so you set that to true or false now economy uh, you can use economy of course so you can charge for people to set home and stuff so you have to set that to true here and then of course you can change these values here to whatever you like to your charge how much it costs to set home and teleport home as well so that's how that works uh, timers so cool, uh, global cooldown this is the number in seconds you can use uh, home so if I set this to zero just, there's no time I can just keep spamming slash home but if I set this to 10 I'll have to wait 10 seconds before I can use home again and then there's a cooldown notifier whether or not you want to notify the players after they've cooled down so say they've got 10 seconds then it'll say oh you can use this again you can set that to true and there's global warm up as well which is similar but well, this is the number of seconds the players have to wait before they can be sent home so they, for instance this is useful when there's pvp and stuff people just teleport uh, home if they're on low life this will prevent that because they have to wait a certain amount of seconds and of course zero will disable it and then you got global cooldown set home as well which is also similar it's number one in seconds uh, but this is the between the uses of set home as well so you can't just keep sent home uh, really quickly and then all these are pretty self-explanatory notif notifiers and stuff work the same and whatnot uh, one thing as well abortion or move so if the player moves uh, once they've done home and there's a, a warm up, then uh, they it will abort the, uh, the the teleportation, and then you can damage the player as well if they do this. That's how that works. Distances. Uh, this is one if you want to have a distance between the homes, so they can only use it if they're near. So you can set that to true or false. Most servers will just have this false. Libraries. You can just this is nothing to worry about really this is whether or not you want to use the libraries is that the true or false uh, but this just allows it to attempt to download the libraries if you've got them for instance you might want to set it to false just so it doesn't update them and stuff but that's generally not really anything to worry about and then MySQL you can, you can use MySQL to save the data as opposed to SQLite I uh, just set that to true and then insert the host port names and all the uh, username and password for the MySQL database. And that concludes today's tutorial. So thanks for watching. It's been me, Sam for Whoop Gaming, signing out.